The global computer chip shortage is still causing a vehicle shortage. One report says that the average new car has as many as a hundred of those tiny little processors that are in such short supply right now. So the car lots are still pretty empty, but auto dealer bank accounts, those are not empty. Low supply plus high demand equals a recent $44,000 spent on the average auto transaction. That is a record high reported by J.D. Power. They add that even though dealers had way fewer vehicles to sell, last month was their most profitable October ever. Profits up 213% from pre-pandemic October 2019. And dealers are now on pace to reach a record $5,129 profit for each vehicle sold. That's more than double the per car profit last year. Now, some of that cha-ching is from financing, and no doubt some of that is what I call forced financing at the dealership. As I've reported for months now, some dealers across Texas are refusing outside financing because if they can make you use their lender instead of a lender that pre-approved you, they can tack on a little bit of extra to that interest rate and pocket some of the additional profit. The association that represents Texas credit unions wrote about this very topic in September right after I did my second report on this. They said that the Office of Consumer Credit Commissioner was concerned about this practice according to an article that they saw on a Dallas area news website. That was my article. And yes, the state regulator that oversees dealerships had told me that they were concerned about forced financing and they asked consumers to report it. And many of you did. So what now? There is no law against this forced financing at the dealership in Texas. So the Credit Union Association is planning now to take it up with the legislature. But lawmakers don't convene again until 20. 23 and by then it's expected that the chip shortage and therefore the vehicle shortage may well be resolved already and that means dealers having to compete for your business again and maybe more willing to accept your outside financing again i'm gonna stay on this so stay with me at jason wheeler tv on facebook and twitter to be right on the money